Friday, um, 470, no, 481. I don't know. I don't remember. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm actually, uh, vlogging from the car. We, um, it's been a, it has been and will continue to be a very family-filled weekend. Love it. Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. We're on our way to pick up Pon and Nico right now, but as I've been driving, <clears throat> not me, Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Hello. <laughs> as we've been driving, I keep receiving these um, heartwarming texts that have made me bawl, literally bawl. And I, I guess I just needed to to say how how sad I am, how sad everybody is yet how incredibly heartwarming and almost ecstatic I feel over this love. Um, it's amazing. And it's sad that it takes something of this nature, not to bring the kindness out, but to to let ourselves loose enough to just bring the kindness out. And I'm talking about me too. I'm loving differently, more holy <laughs> than I ever have. And I keep crying that I don't want to do. I'm really happy right now. I, I feel good. I just feel loved. <laughs> So it's a cry for love right now, which is kind of cool. Um, it's, I, okay, so I've been talking with Matthew. Sorry if it's jiggly. If this doesn't work, I'm not going to post it. But since I said that, <laughs> that makes no sense. Um, we it was a horrible freeway right now. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night. I was up at 3 o'clock wide awake, right, bright eyed and bushy tail, one might say. And I, I, I realized I already beat, I beat cancer. And I'm, I'm saying that out loud. I already beat it. I, I did everything right. The doctors did everything right. All the doctors, um, all the drugs I was on and the chemo and the way it was handled and etc etc I already beat cancer I got it out of my lymph nodes I got it out of my liver I got it 70% shrunk out of my pancreas one of my doctors the, my the head up doctor at Cedars he even said I don't even know if I would call this a tumor anymore remember that yeah. I beat cancer already that is why they gave me a four-month break I get a scan after four months it didn't change it didn't change. I was prepared to go in and finish, finish off getting everything done. You can fit. And, um, and it would have been gone. I'm saying that with a freaking clear conscience with, with a wholeheartedness that it was the day I contracted COVID. Matthew got it first. I started feeling really weird, not normal, but because it, it was all in my abdomen, but there it was. Bam, I got nailed with it. This is COVID related, 100%, 100%. Because my cancer, I know I'm repeating myself, I don't care, my cancer does not grow that fast. It doesn't, it took 20 years for it to get to the state I was in when I was diagnosed. It's impossible for it to have reached this state in three months, but it did. So when I see the doctor and I please, I want to be heard. I need to be heard that yes, I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight this again and I'm going to win again. It's going to suck again, but here we go. And I've got you all by my side. We're going to have to nail this from a COVID angle as well. So that is 
I just needed to say all that. That's why I'm in the car doing this because I needed to just get it off of my chest. Wow. All right. I love you all. I love me all. Happy Mother's Day to all. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Happy day. How's that? Loving being alive. So I will talk to everybody soon. Okay. Bye. Have a great day.